but okay the, the kind of piercing you had they pierced the hood no yeah okay the <laughs> did, I, did i say the trunk okay yeah. i'm so sorry all right, all right. she's just well, confusing the parts of the automobile the hood right I, I got it i got the joke yeah oh, no yeah Okay, what do you mean the trunk, though? All right, you're she, right. The hood. She meant the hood. <laughs> oh, she meant the. Oh, really? Yes, she meant the hood. Really? <laughs> the boot and the bonnet. She got her trunk pierced. Oh. <laughs> What the hell is going on? I knew that's where she was going. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. All right. All, All right, right, Anna. All right, thank you for amusing us. Okay, yeah, okay, so you got your hood. Open. All right. Yeah, the trunk's now open. Right. There's a body in there. So, okay, and now uh, you, what? Wait, wait, wait. What, what are you doing in Chicago if you're from Virginia Beach? Because my husband got out of the military, and he's from Chicago. So he moved back to Chicago. But that's besides the point. The point How long is, ago did you have your trunk pierced? Four months ago. In Virginia Beach? That's correct. How and do you know moved... Virginia? I just said the beach. No, you, I think you said Did Virginia Beach. <laughs> you said Virginia Beach. You're the same right. person that called the hood the trunk, so just kind of remember that. Right. All right. All right. Well, anyhow, it's like a thing, or if you, you know, whatever, but every time I walk, I feel like I'm going to get off. Mm -hmm. That is what it's, that's what some people report from these kind of piercings. The problem with that is that you can eventually become desensitized. Yeah, because. For a while, I, you're oversensitive. Well, the thing is, is eventually, if it, if it, Feel if you feel that sensation every time you take a step, your body's gonna have to turn down the volume on the clitoris. Otherwise, you'd just be walking around, leaving a snail trail and screaming. Well, you know I'm in I'm the saying? grocery store and I'm just like, oh my god, pray go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Stay out of the dairy. Uh, okay. Why don't you take it out, produce? Well, I don't yeah. want to. All I just right. don't know, like you know. Well, then, it's like, I, then, then you have you'll have to ice your clit before you go outside. Okay. You, you know, spray uh, tape it down or something. Tape it up. Get a little get a little skull cap for it. Get uh, you know, spray it with some of that uh, freon. Mini that, yarmulke? The clit yarmulke? Yeah, clitica. Take the uh, take some of that um, uh, that nitrogen stuff, that spray can Liquid stuff nitrogen. they would spray on your elbow when you'd scuff it up as a kid. It was red. It was obnoxious. Oh, that stuff. ethyl chloride. Yeah, spray some of that on there. Yeah. Knock it down. By the way, uh, first off, having someone put something through your clitoris, uh, it just seems bizarre to me. And uh, the, 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 First off, this is somebody working on that area, a stranger working on that area, an un... Non-professional. Uh, untrained professional yeah. working or non-professional working on that area. And then just putting a spear through it. And just, it just smacks of effed up. Yeah. It really does. I, I don't, I don't know what's up with Anna. No, I know. But Anna? Yeah. Okay, don't have any kids. I already sure. have kids. Yeah, sure. It does. All right, you I have kids, uh, Why are you telling me not to have any? Because you sound unfit. I sound unfit. Yeah. Why? I could be a, I could be a bad mother. Why? Well, because you decided Chaos. because you you decided to be a good idea to get your clit pierced uh, with uh, being a mother of two. So that, that a became, mother of two. Who that became a, two? How, how many you have? Okay, wait. Why would you say I'm an unfit mother if I had my clit pierced? How many kids do you have? Well, that's beside the point. Why would just, I be an unfit just mother? Just three or four. No, what do you have? Three wait, kids. So if you get your tongue pierced, that makes you an unfit mother. It it helps. How many how many kids do you have? Well, if you get your ears pierced. How many kids do you have, you hoe? I'm a whore. All right, idiot. Isn't yeah, the tongue okay. the trunk? We all know she's a great mom. Well. And uh, right. again, it's we talk to these a-holes every night, which is, oh, listen, I go out, we do a little swinging, uh, then I do a bump, a blow off my boss's ass, then I get a hood piercing. Uh, uh, how dare you, Sam? Oh, I leave it all. I leave it all at work, and then I come home, and I'm a new person. Oh, oh. I'm Mary Poppins when I get home. Uh, yeah, Mary right. Poppins wasn't uh, having spontaneous orgasms. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm not trying to be uptight. I'm just saying if you got two or three kids, don't focus, worry focus about the, the hood piercings. Yeah, I mean, I, but, I mean, it's not the act. It's that you're thinking about it. Right. That's, it's, it's that ass the, shouldn't even yeah. pop up on your radar screen. It's not the fact that she has a piercing.